Hi, I'm Rhonda Massad from the West Island News, and I am here with founder of Cardinal Realty Group, Mark LaRue. We are here for the Real Estate Minute. We want to keep you up to date of what's happening, all the ins and outs of real estate in our local community. Mark, I'm so happy to have you here today. Hi, Rhonda. It's great to be here. So we've got a lot going on, and things have changed in the world of real estate due to the pandemic. How did the, did the pandemic impact real estate in the Montreal area and in the West Island? That's a great question, Rhonda. Before we get to that, we have to see how was the real estate market doing before the pandemic came along. And the market was very, very strong. It was doing great. Um, in 2018, 2019, we had lots of transactions. Prices were creeping up for the last uh, 20 years, uh, slowly but surely. And I think a lot of us were wondering, what's going to come along to change that? And then the pandemic hit. So a lot of people were thinking this could be the pivotal moment where the real estate market changes from this uh, constant increase. And uh, we soon saw that that was not the case. So the market just got more uh, aggressive. Uh, there was more demand. Uh, you've supply seen offers, went down. You've, yeah. seen, you've seen situations where you've had 20 offers, 30 offers or things like that. So just last week, uh, we put an offer on a property where there were 45 offers. Just last week. <laughs> Yeah. So, how, well, we'll talk about that at another point, but that's daunting for a lot of buyers. Oh, sure. Absolutely. It's a, it's a very difficult thing to be in a market where there is so much demand and so little supply. So it's really uh, the first time that we're in this situation since I've been a real estate broker for the last 12 years. It's the first time that I see the situation that we're in. And I think that the pandemic plays uh, a role. Uh, in, in the situation we're in, because I think that the, the pandemic is likely uh, causing a lot of the, the shortness of supply. Do you think, I mean, this is my take and just my, my guesstimate, is that do you think people are realizing that the home that they have is not for them because they're spending so much time in it? Is that why we're seeing such an influx? Uh, so I, I think the opposite. Actually, I think that people are investing in the homes that they have rather than making a move, and this is affecting the, the supply that we have on the market. Oh, I see. Um, I think if you don't absolutely need more space, then you're probably holding on and staying where you are, staying put. Uh, we have, uh, we've seen a lot of people come from uh, downtown core to the suburbs, looking for more space, looking to get away from uh, crowds. Uh, so I think that's one shift that we've seen. And I've also seen some of my clients leaving the suburbs and going uh, into the Laurentians uh, or further away, uh, saying that the, the pandemic and the restrictions were make them feel uncomfortable. Okay, so they want to be as far from people as they and, can get. And they just wanted to move away. So okay, so let's say I am that person that's nervous of COVID and so on. What yeah. measures has the real estate world put in place that makes it safe for me to go open housing and stuff? Oh, yeah. There's lots of measures that have been put in place. So uh, if we go back to March uh, 2020 when we shut down, uh, before that we had no restrictions, no uh, extra guidelines as to how we show property. It was and the then, wild, wild west. It was. <laughs> and uh, just to give you an example, you could have an open house where you'd have to have extra people uh, on hand opening up things because you'd have maybe 25, 30 people coming in over the space of a couple of hours and several groups at the same time. So you would be bumping into people going into this room or that room. Uh, doesn't work like that anymore. So just to give you an example, um, obviously we have uh, um, some of the measures we use. We have masks. We wash our hands on the way into a property. There's only one group at a time. So that would include uh, two buyers, one broker, and the listing broker or the or the seller perhaps. So three or four people in the property at a time and uh, 15 minute blocks. So okay. you have to, you go in, you have 15 minutes and you're out and the next block comes in. And with uh, the way that things have been working, that's really 15 minutes is, is usually what you get. Um, so other measures would be we had a form that we have to, uh, that we have to fill out to say whether we're coming back you know, from out of the country or whether we've had symptoms or whether we've been exposed to someone with COVID. So as long as uh, it's no on all fronts, then uh, you sign that declaration and you can have access. Um, uh, other, other things that we use, other than restricting the number of people, the use of masks, um, buyers don't typically, can't really open things anymore. Okay. So, uh, so we tend to limit the contact inside the home. So the broker will uh, wear gloves and open up the cabinets if necessary, the closets if necessary. So uh, the buyers would come through the property without 
sort of touching everything, and, and this makes everyone more comfortable. If I'm making an offer, it's no longer... The, re the agents used to go, I remember my dad used to go and sit at the table and across and they would bang out the negotiations oh, yeah. and I think those days are gone, am I right? Uh, so uh, I, I, I don't think those days are over. I'm so happy because like your father, I love to present offers. That's really the most fun that you can have in this business is when you have an offer from your client and you're, you're, you're presenting it. Uh, so I love presenting in person, but we've replaced that in-person presentation with Zoom presentations. Okay. Uh, so, so a lot of times you're you're communicating with the seller uh, through Zoom, or a phone call, or in some cases you don't get to present anymore, where they ask you to email your offer. But that's because they're looking at 15, 20 offers. They don't they need don't your they don't need your pitch. Right. They're taking what they want to take. Right. They're a little bit in the driver's seat, as we as obvious. That's pretty obvious. Yeah. The the, the, the sellers in the driver's seat. Yeah. So in terms of COVID, we've seen the since COVID hit, we've seen the supply drop uh, dram dramatically. We've seen a lot of restrictions in terms of visiting properties, but that hasn't stopped uh, buyers. That okay. hasn't slowed demand. As soon as the as soon as we reopened, we were closed for three weeks where we couldn't show property, no inspections, no uh, evaluations. That was evaluations. the last three weeks. So no, that was in March 2020 where okay. we really couldn't show property, couldn't couldn't move. Uh, the the lockdown. And then as soon as we were allowed with restrictions to show property, we called all our clients and asked them, how comfortable are you with these, uh, these procedures, visiting property and potentially making offers? And strangely enough, everybody was really game. A okay. uh, couple of people were hesitant. A uh, couple of people said that they were going to wait and see how this played out. Uh, to see how their projects would, would move forward. But most people who were looking at property just before the shutdown were right back to looking at property as soon as we could. I guess there was a reason, so they must have wanted to get in there. So at the end of the day, do you think these restrictions or what restrictions do you think will remain after the blessed COVID is going to leave us? Right. Well, uh, there's. I think there's some positive uh, positive aspects about the restrictions that were placed. I think you're, you're selling a property. Um, after all the people come through and all the offers are done and you have one accepted offer, you're going to live in that property for a while longer. Uh, you have a number of people living in the property. So I think it's important to keep it clean, to keep it safe, to keep it uh, so that there's not all kinds of dirt and, and things and bacteria and viruses coming in from the outside when you decide to show property because we don't always sell over the course of a weekend. Right. Uh, a lot of properties uh, go in that fashion where you have a, a really quick um, turnover. Three day of showing, you know, maybe 45, 50 visits over three days and then you get multiple offers and you get an accepted offer. That happens, but it's not every case. So if properties are not priced correctly or not uh, staged correctly or different things like that, could take weeks on the market and you have visits every week and things like that. So I think I think putting a mask on when you go into someone else's property isn't asking so much. And, and we'll that, keep that going after COVID's over. You know, and washing your hands on the way in and taking off your shoes. I think these, these are just uh, things that I would find acceptable, perfectly yeah. acceptable for I me. I do too. I think I would be comfortable with that. Like it's strangers. It's different. We're used to our bubbles now. Maybe that's, yeah. maybe, I don't know. I, it's, it's hard to know what to do, but I do think, I think if I was opening my house up to strangers, I think at this point for an open house, I would want to mask or something. Definitely sure. the alcohol in the hands. Why not? And uh, these days when you show properties and everyone's uh, wearing masks and looking at the properties, you're basically, uh, you're listening, you're speaking, you're looking, you're, you're experiencing. But when we get outside, when we take off our masks and, and we have distancing, we're in the backyard or on the, that's now my favorite time of, of showing property because you have that, that contact and where you can, can see, see each face. other, you can speak to each other. Um, so, uh, so I think those, some of those things will continue after COVID and especially while COVID becomes uh, endemic and, you know, it's just going around. And I think even other businesses will also, some stuff is going to stick. Yes. Some of these restrictions are going to stick. Absolutely. I don't think that we'll go back to a world uh, like 2019 and, and before, but we move forward. All right. I want to thank you for coming on today. Pleasure. All right. So that was Mark LaRue from the Cardinal Realty Group. I want you to stay tuned every single week for our Real Estate Minute, and we can see you next week. Yes. All right. Thank you so much.